Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Remotech Century and welcome to my ultimate gaming and editing setup for August 2013. Alright, so let's get started. I guess we start off here on the left side. So we'll have my printer right here, which is the Canon MG5350, which is a decent printer. I would say it goes through ink like crazy, but it does have air print and such things, so it's not too bad. And we'll have one of my speaker systems right there. I think that's the Logitech Z553 or something. You'll definitely find an unboxing on my channel if you want to. Then below this, we'll have a box of the ZenBook Prime that I unboxed literally like five minutes ago. You'll see this right there. We'll also have a Dur microphone right there, which is a condenser microphone. Next to it, we'll have my Canon EOS 600D, which is a pretty good DSLR. Kind of looking into the 70D, but it's pretty expensive, so I'm not quite sure whether I'll pick this up or not. It's not too bad at the moment, the 600D. Then next to this, we'll have my LC Porsche design hard drive, which is two terabytes. Then we'll see a boxed iPhone 5, kind of overexposed because of the lighting right here the box for AirPort Extreme 2013, my Galaxy S4 box, as well as my slim PlayStation 3, which I believe has a 120 gigabyte hard drive, not quite sure about that. Then in front, we'll have the Asus ZenBook. Now this is the first generation with a Sandy Bridge processor, 1600 by 900 glossy screen. Then we'll have the better version, which is the ZenBook Prime right here, which has a full HD IPS screen, as you see right there. Already looks really vivid here on the video, and overall in real life it looks even better. So pretty happy with that, just unboxed this a couple of minutes ago. Then I guess we'll get over here to the main setup. So I guess we'll quickly start out with the mobile devices. We'll have my HTC One right there, next to it my Galaxy S4. Then in terms of setup, I guess I'll just quickly sit down so you kind of have my point of view. We'll have first off the desk that I built myself for the most part with some indirect LED lighting as well as a picture from the UK up top. And then we'll have my 27 inch iMac, which is I believe a late 2010, which Intel Core i7 at 2.93 gigahertz, 12 gigs of RAM. And it's just my main editing machine. Then right and left, we'll just have my AOC monitors that I recently unboxed. Not quite sure of the name, I think they are i23, I honestly have no idea what the name is. But they are pretty amazing. You can just check my channel for the exact name or I'll just leave it in the description down below. They are mounted on capstone monitor arms, so you just don't have like a stand here in the way. And I think it just looks a lot better and just neater. Overall, really nice panels, IPS two HDMI inputs as well as display port and one other I think also built in speakers that are crappy as hell but so far I think they look pretty nice I actually ordered them in black but they came in silver so however that's just my main setup right there which I think looks pretty nice I'm pretty happy with this the right monitor is connected via HDMI the left one using a display link adapter from USB to HDMI because this iMac unfortunately doesn't have two Thunderbolt ports. Now then basically already coming to the end, right here is my Alienware Aurora R3, which has a liquid cooled Intel Core i7 quad core processor, I believe at 3.2 gigahertz or something. Honestly, not too sure about the specs. I also put a 250 gigabyte SSD in there and overall pretty nice machine. Might be selling it because I'm not really playing too many games still have my Xbox 360 in the other room, in the living room. And that's basically, so if I want to play PC games, I play it on the Alienware. If I want to play PlayStation, I have the PlayStation connected to the left monitor. I also have the Xbox in the other room. And that's basically the whole setup. In terms of peripherals, we'll also have uh, some nice speakers right here, which is the Creative Gigaworks T3, I think. We also have the subwoofer down there. And besides that, we just see the Logitech K811 illuminated keyboard, which I just absolutely love. It's an amazing keyboard. Not quite sure why it doesn't want to show you <laughs> the illumination now. Probably it's just too bright in here. But a fantastic keyboard, also rechargeable and wireless at the same time. So really happy with that. As mouse, I use the Performance MX, I believe it's called by Logitech as well. 
And All right, so I guess this is the end of my setup tour for August 2013. This is how it currently looks. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Always interested to hear what you guys say. I think it's pretty nice in terms of cable management. I'm not 100% happy, but so far you don't really see too many cables and I'm rather happy with the overall setup. Not quite perfect yet, but it's not too bad. But again, I'm just interested to hear you guys' opinion in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I hope to see my next video. Thank you for watching.